Hi, I'm Avinash from Informatica Support and I'm going to discuss about how we can load CSV format data into Customer 360 Insights. The agenda of the session is to give an introduction followed by how we can load the data using the data ingestion process and then how we can validate the data loaded followed by a summary. User must have the CSV format data in the sequential order in the business object defined at the business data model level. Once the user loads the data, we can verify it using any REST API services through a get call or user can view the data in the customer 360 insights UI once the indexing workflow job is completed. In case of any errors during the workflow run, logs are captured and can be viewed in the error HDFS path. A few of the examples which might be the cause of the workflow failure are data type mismatch, like there can be additional attributes in the data or the incorrect column sequence. So data ingestion process. User has to follow the steps for the CSV format data ingestion. For a CSV formatted data, user should have the sample data prepared in the sequential format available in the Customer360 model file. User has to log in to the node where C360 build is installed in the terminal using a term. Once the CSV files are moved to your local path from there user has to run a hdfs command to move it to the input processing part once that is done user has to log in into configuration tool and over there they have to click the configure button of the config set and then select other configurations then followed by the ingestion and they should select the input file format as CSV because the default format selected would be JSON in the Customer360 Insights product. Once that is selected and published, user has to go back to the terminal, traverse to the scripts path and then run the ingestion or the customer 360 workflow job. Once the workflow job is run, user can view the progress of the workflow using the UZ command shared on the screen. Once the data is ingested, user can validate the data using any REST client. You can set up the advanced REST client to view the data using a GET call. A few of the C360 data sources can be viewed in all set config properties. A few of the out of the box data sources are listed below. One would be the all site, four would be the customer transaction, six would be the email from, Nine would be the web chat, 15 customer profile, followed by three, which is a deterministic match. A few of the syntax, how a get call can be done to view the data in any REST client are shown on screen. You can you, you have to use the HTTPS or HTTP followed by the host name, the port, then the context name and the version and the service name followed by the party and the all site ID. An example is displayed as well. I'll give you a short demo on how we can ingest the data in Customer360 Insights. To set the input format to CSV from JSON, user has to log in into Customer360 Insights Configuration Manager using a valid credentials. Here I'm going to use the super admin credentials to log in into the customer 360 insights. Once we log in, user has to select the configure button of the configuration sets. 
then select other configurations over there you have to select the drop down and then click on ingestion here we need to change the file format from JSON to CSV and then we can save it once we save it you will get a pop-up that the changes has been successfully configured and then you need to publish it using the deploy CS button deploy the configuration sets you have to select batch processing and then once it's completed you have to deploy it in the real-time services calls as well so now we have changed the input file format from JSON to CSV you can log out to from the customer 360 insights configuration manager tool for now then move to the terminal where you need to move the sample data to the HDFS input path these are the commands which you will be using to run the workflow first you need to copy the file from your local to the HDFS path I have already copied a EM email CSV format to the local system and from there I'll be copying it to the common input path once the data is moved you can use the list command to confirm if the data has been the sample data has been moved to the input path for processing now you can see here that the email sample CSV format file has been moved to the processing path once that is moved you have to move to the workflow directory where you will be running the workflow job and to run the workflow I'm going to run the entire workflow so that I can view the data in the customer 360 insights UI once I run the job it will take around some time to view the data. 30 minutes for my job to complete as there are only fewer records available in my email CSV format file once this is completed we can view the data into customer 360 insights UI you can use this job ID to view the workflow progress user can view the workflow status run in the Uzi console here you can see the step-by-step -step workflow process which got completed for the data which we have ingested it took around 30 minutes for to run the entire workflow once the job is completed you need to log in to the customer 360 insights UI using a valid credentials here I'm gonna use the super admin credentials to log into the C360 insights UI once we log into the UI you can do a star search to view if the data got ingested or loaded here you can view all the details which we have loaded these are the sample data which we have loaded this comes with the out of the box customer 360 insights product please refer to the KBR articles or the documents available in the Informatica portal for more information on this Thank you very much.